Listen, those of you who get overwhelmed, I have a lot of new, I have a lot of new, new, uh, listeners. Don't get discouraged. I get, I see, I'm reading every single comment. I don't care how many hundreds of comments appear every day. I read them all uh, on the YouTube channel. Do not get discouraged when you see a video. You have to understand, I can't compress thousands of years of history in a 15-minute presentation. This is why I've got almost 250 videos. I may have more now. Now I don't know. Um, it's it. You have to. You have to understand. It's. You guys ask me questions. Some of you new people. You ask me questions for which the answer has already been provided in many previous presentations. That's why I'm patient with you. I don't talk. I don't. I don't denigrate anybody in the comment section. But I like to. I'd like you to point out that many times you see a video and you get triggered, and that's a good thing. Because it means you're interested, you want to know. But man, you have no idea how much information I've covered in my videos. I've answered almost every question that pops up on the in the comment section. Now those now those of you, you know, if if I see if I see questions that are new, you know, I, shoot, I respond to the emails or or in the comment section. Many of you send emails. I I email you back. But uh, it's it's the we live in a we live in a programming. Uh, we, we live in absolute programming. And who is this right here? All right, Jay Hart. Oh, I recognize that name. You're one of my new favorite people. Thank you, Jay. Listen, the very phenomena of Mandela effect, doesn't matter if you believe it or not, it's happened to many people. The very, the very fact of synchronicities, little sinks that happen in your life all the time, coincidence. And I know many of you have experienced deja vu. These four phenomena are not metaphysical. These are all direct evidence that you are living in a programmed illusion and that sometimes the simulacrum finds itself in the position of having to edit material for you to perceive. Sometimes the simulacrum gets it wrong. It assumes you didn't perceive something and then it edited and then, and then it finds out, damn, he did see that, or she did see that. This is what Mandela effect, coincidence, deja vu, and synchronicity, synchronicity is. These are edits by the simulacrum. The simulacrum is always trying to distract you. If you're seeing the same number over and over and over again, I don't care what those other YouTube channels tell you. I don't care about, I'm telling you now. If you're seeing these little sinks, it's because you are starting to create reality tunnel for yourself that is very dangerous for the simulacrum. And when I mean dangerous, the simulacrum operates off quantum principles, but it also operates off the, the second law of thermodynamics and off entropy. The law of conservation of energy is absolutely critical to the simulacrum because it is not an infinite power source. There have been times in history where the power source failed in a certain area and people ab actually saw reality for what it was. There are places where the simulacrum's power source fades out because the holography is dimensionally overlapping something else. One of those places is off the Sea of Japan. It's called the Devil's Triangle. Another one is in the Bermuda area. It's called the Bermuda Triangle. A third one is in Mexico. I have a post about it. It's also a triangle. But uh, it's a desert in Mexico where really odd phenomena shit happen. But this, 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 this uh, collapse of power source has been observed in modern times. Pilots have actually seen in the Bermuda Triangle just a haze appear out of a blue sky. And in that haze, all of a sudden, the sky itself looked like it just started corkscrewing. Corkscrewing. And pilots were just like, what the hell? And they radio went in, and it's just, it's so bizarre. It's like, it's like the sky is actually a huge mechanisms of machinery with giant reservoirs and vaults that contain all kinds of things that range down on us from time to time. And I've done many videos about all the strange things. Rains of fish, frogs, alligator gar, rains of larvae that are frozen, whole, whole rivers of insects that were frozen solid that fell out of a blue sky. 
many things have been recorded throughout throughout history of all the strange things that fell out the sky. 1347 A.D., nothing like it. Nothing like it. The Great Black Death Plague. We are told from our historians an absolute lie, total bullshit, that rats on ships from Asia spread the bubonic plague and it killed one-third of the entire world's population. Absolute horseshit. Because the historians of the time have left their records and I cite them. I cite them in my published books, I cite them in my YouTube videos, but the people at the time told us what happened. They said cigar-shaped things appeared in the sky. And just after that, dead carcasses of deer Moose, fox, squirrel, rabbit, cats, possums, with their bodies torn apart and decayed as if they were in they were in chambers for days just rotting and decaying. Putrid. All these pieces and body parts of forest animals fell out the sky and, and the putrid smell spread the plague. And within three years, one third of the entire world's population was dead. It wasn't rats. Some of the infected areas were so far in the country, away from coasts and trade and trade routes and all that, it's inexplicable. It had to have come from the sky. Which is why, in the medieval times, it was understood that when great sicknesses occurred and happened to a lot of people at the same time, after the appearance of a comet, it was always called influenza. Influenza is Spanish for influence, and it's inferred that it means influence from the stars. <laughs>